Other than understanding your water profile and the water complexity, your yeast selection is probably the most important variable in brewing. You want to stick with specifically ale yeast. This is Saccharomyces cerevisiae. This is a top fermenting yeast. You want to stay away from Saccharomyces pastorianus as this is a lager yeast and this is a bottom fermenting yeast. Again, I keep saying that, but you want to keep your yeast selection simple. Keep your raw material sourcing simple at first and allow things to get complex over time. Stay away also from utilizing all of the hybrid yeasts that are out there right now. You can get back to those later as you have more brewing experience. And also stay away from the urge to use bacterias. Again, you want to utilize Saccharomyces cerevisiae, an ale top fermenting yeast. Stay away from Lactobacillus, Pediococcus, Britannomyces, or any other bacterias. Work specifically with your homebrew shop and again your local brewers to understand the pitching rate that you need for your yeast and how to best utilize your yeast. Understand what attenuation means. Attenuation is a mathematical representation whether you work in specific gravity or degrees Plato. It's the starting target gravity and it's the attenuation and or the steps of your yeast metabolizing and utilizing those fermentable sugars. So you'll see an incremental change for an example, let's say you're at 12 degrees Plato. You're fermenting and underway, you've pitched your yeast. The next day you come in and you check your measurement, you may be at, let's say, 11.1 .1 degrees Plato. And then the next day you may be at 8.8 .8 degrees Plato. The attenuation is the actual tracking and or the yeast metabolizing and utilizing the fermentable sugars. What you don't want to see is fermentation and you've pitched your yeast and you're under ferment and your attenuation is way off, meaning you've started at 12 degrees Plato and all of a sudden you're terminal one day later. This leads to off flavors and a bad beer profile. You want your attenuation to track nice and evenly. You also don't want your attenuation to track and, and be too slow or stalled or stuck fermentation, meaning you would come in at 12 degrees Plato and then all of a sudden you're not moving, you're still at 12 degrees Plato, and then the third day you're at 12 degrees Plato. You have stuck or stalled fermentation and would need to adjust things accordingly. If you attract too slow and you have too slow and long drawn out fermentation, you may lead to off flavors as well. So attenuation, simply put, is just incremental changes within that brew process that should be nice and slow and steady. You want to understand flocculation also. Flocculation is when your yeast is stuck in suspension, performing and metabolizing, and then falls out of suspension. Understand yeast autolysis. Autolysis is whenever you have yeast that is healthy and viable, but falls to the bottom of your fermenter, whether that's a bucket, a carboy, or a stainless steel vat, and it ends up rupturing the cells. This is autolysis and can lead to bad off flavors and a bad beer profile. Understand yeast viability and vitality. Viability and vitality, although separate, I like to think of them as one and the same. It is a quantitative and qualitative representation of your yeast and the yeast performance. It's healthy yeast to non-healthy yeast, and it's the amount of healthy yeast to the amount of unhealthy yeast. So understand yeast vitality and viability. Once you get comfortable with your yeast selection and performance, I want you to specifically look at your yeast. Look at it. Upon purchase, look at the yeast and look at the coloration and upon usage. But more specifically, look at the individual single cell organism that is the backbone of what completes fermentation. So borrow or buy a microscope, borrow or buy a counter, staining agent, several different vials, and most importantly, a hemocytometer. So you want to actually look at your yeast and how it's performing and look at the yeast and the viability and vitality.